Recently, local farmers markets opened for the season, and these markets have been following strict guidelines, of course, for vendors and guests. And here with the dirt on Illinois farmers markets, Janie Maxwell. Hey, Janie, how are you? I'm good. Good morning. Good morning. Well, uh, one, it's great news that these farmers markets have been able to open up, but I know it involves many changes, and in lots of cases, they look different than they have in years past. Uh, start talking us through how things have changed for 2020. Yeah, well, first, we are very excited to see that farmers markets are opening. I mean, that's really the most important part, but they do look different. They have a different feel, and, you know, that great event atmosphere that we've all come to know and love is probably not going to be the atmosphere of this year's market. At least as we start the season, we're calling these in and out markets. Your goal is to get in, buy your product, and get out. And so uh, we're really encouraging customers to come knowing what they want, to practice good hygiene while they're at the market, to wear their mask, wear their gloves, uh, pay with credit cards if at all possible to minimize that contact, and then also um, this is not your market where you're going to get to smell the or, or you know feel the cantaloupes or smell the tomatoes. You're going to say from a display of product that is behind the producer what you want, how much you want of it, pay for it, and move on your way. So is there it's a, going to be a different atmosphere? traffic flow i'm assuming you're trying to have to manage how people move through the markets as well so it's not just sort of a an, an aimless wandering right no i think there is a definite traffic flow and so you do need to keep your social distance and follow any of the directions now each market is going to be set up a little bit differently but um, i do think that the main goal is just to move according to the directions and the paths that are laid out by the market management and keep your social distance. Uh, you mentioned a number of things we need to be thinking about before we head to the market, the mask and gloves, uh, maybe bringing a credit card for places that accept that. Are there other things we need to have, our, our own bags? Obviously, a shopping list would be helpful. Uh, what other things do we need to be thinking about before we, we show up at these markets? Yeah, I think you really need to come knowing what you want and so that it's easier for you to move through the market look at the different vendors and know what it is that you want to purchase before you get to them. Some of our vendors are accepting pre-orders and each market is different in how they're doing that or each vendor is different, but you might want to explore that, particularly on their social media pages, so that that even helps you figure out what you want before you get there. I say check the Facebook pages, social media to make sure that you can see maybe what's being offered at the market. And so it gives you an opportunity to think about it in advance and then maybe move through a little bit more quickly. On the other side of the corn, uh, coin, how is this impacting the vendors themselves? What are things that they're having to, you mentioned like moving everything behind them, which is very right. different. What other restrictions are they under in order to be able to sell? Well, they're, they're following good uh, sanita enhanced sanitation practices to make sure that the products that they're bringing to the market are safe and have been cared for from farm to the market um, for the consumer. But I think that the farmers themselves or the producers themselves are, number one, very, very grateful for the opportunity to sell direct to the consumer. Um, we know that this direct-to-consumer opportunity is probably one of the best ways for farmers um, to sell their product. And not only that, they're finding a tremendous response to the products that they're bringing to market. I've been hearing from a number of uh, producers across the state that they may, in fact, be experiencing their best March or April sales wow. ever. Man, so they're that's... really appreciative of the support that the community is showing, even in this little, even in this um, modified version of a farmer's market. That's fantastic news. We love hearing it. It's great to have them back, even with the uh, enhanced precautions. And thanks for uh, sharing all the information with us. We appreciate it, Janie. Well, thank you. We will connect you with all the details you need to know on our website as well, including the website you see there on your screen right now. Just go to CILiving.tv.